Remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder, treason and plot. But will we hit a decent ball with these? Probably not. Oh. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. We are at Trethorin today. If you've not watched my channel before, I'm just a high handicapper having fun with my friends. This is Steve Treby and we are doing the Dead Man's Bag Challenge, or shall I say, Steve is. If you've not subscribed, please hit the notification down below and hit the button. And if you want to watch our videos, three or four at least a week, click the notification bell. Hi there, Steve. Morning, welcome back to Trethorn, John. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm at the other end of Cornwall today. That's correct. I know, yeah, you've nice early start. Along me, the whole you. county. So, you've seen a few of the videos of the Dead Man's Bag. Yes, I've seen Neil's Badgers the other day. Yeah, that was the long one. Um, yes. Yeah, and, and, and today, this evening, uh, once it goes out, will be Eddie's. Oh, fantastic. Yesterday, I filmed Nick Cooper. Got to do mine at some point. You're next, okay? Yes. So, Tell us a little bit about yourself very quickly. Right, so I remember here at Trethorn, normally playing with my son Alfie, who uh, we've appeared on your channel. Yep. Uh, we played here at Trethorn. I play off 11.9. Okay, so work your scores out in a while. So it'll be off the yellows, it'll be 12. Okay. Playing off. Um, yeah, we, we just like having fun playing golf, me and Alfie just play golf to enjoy it you've got a little so. youtube channel now so we're going to plug it we have yeah alfie and dad golf so um showing more alfie's journey we do a few club reviews um we concentrate more on junior golf yeah, yeah. with it so um again just showing golf can be fun and not expensive exactly so people who know our channel already uh, know that you took part in our golf days yep. and uh, I've given you eight dozen golf balls today from the Fantastic, golf day yeah, for your junior squad. Thank you very much for that, John. Yep. Because I, I run the juniors here okay. as well at Trethorn as well, so we'll put that to good use for the juniors as yeah. well. And thank you very much to Titleist for allowing us to do that. Yeah. So we're going to get on the course. Three holes, supposedly got to be a par of fours, although yesterday Nick played a par of five oh, as well, yes. just because he's Nick. Okay. So we've got a, a nice circle we can do. So the okay. first, second, and then we'll have a little bit of drive, but then we'll come back up the 18th. No problem. Well. Yeah, we've got a buggy because we are running and gunning and we're jumping in out of uh, spaces on the course, really. So Trafforn is near Launston, yep. or Lanston, depending Lans on where you Lanson. come from, uh, which is it. I guess if you're coming in from other parts of the country, the nearest part of Cornwall. I live at the far end of Cornwall. It is, yeah. We're, we're pretty much bang on the border of Devon okay. as well. And you are, you're not Cornish, are you? I am a Devon boy. I know. I, I've married. Yeah. You're the first, I think, no, no, Badger might be Devon, but you're the first the official Devon person as far well, as we're concerned on this channel to do this. Darren's not oh, done Darren it Oh, Darren's not done it yet. No, next week. Oh, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, I've married a Cornish girl, which okay. brought me across the border. Yeah, kind so of. I still have the cream teas the no, right way. I'm not way. getting involved in the cream tea. We're not <laughs> even discussing that. <laughs> That's so, next year. Yeah. So this is the bag of, the bag of crap, the dead man's bag. Uh, we found out that these are John Jacobs blades from 1964. So they're a year older than me and they, sh and they look it. In fact, I look pretty disheveled, but blimey, come on. They've been well used here. Um, we're not sure about the wood. What, what is that? Uh, it's that we've got a Donne from back 1970s. And uh, there's, according to Nick yesterday, who played the heaviest sand wedge he's ever seen. So this is what you've got. You just have to do what you can with it, okay? Right, they're, yes, they're very small, aren't they? They're very small and they're very disgusting, okay? So. Uh, you don't have to wear the shoes, which we found in here from, we don't even want to know how old they are. Uh, yeah, um, I think they'll be to, yeah, a bit open, small. open the bag, brave yourself and oh. go and grab yourself a ball. Or maybe two, you may right. need well, them. I'll do lucky dips, shall well, I? Well, it's that kind of rubbish, yeah, it really is. Someone's actually sent oh, me six, six other ones to put in oh. it. I haven't put them in yet. We've got a top flight titanium. Oh, lovely. I can't remember ball. playing some of those years ago. Oh, it was that with the pinnacle gold. Well, there might be one of those in there as well. So keep that ball and we're going to find the hole to play. I've only got, because someone said with the drivers to tee it a bit lower. Yeah. So. Well, now, okay. You obviously haven't watched the one that I filmed yesterday yet. Nick ended up one off the ground that you'd use with it, like hybrid. Yeah. Uh, but he did tee it up higher. Did he? He, he caught the top of it a bit and it went up as high as they went out, but they got a long way. Ah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Not an expert, it's, um, Yeah. That, 
you compare that to a modern driver, you've got so much yeah. room to hit, it gives you more confidence. Yeah, no confidence whatsoever in this, mate. <laughs> no, so, but I suppose treat it like a, a hybrid. Well, I kind so, of thinking that way, but there's no loft on it. I mean, look at it, there's just I no know, loft, mate. There's nothing, is there? No, not, not fun. Oh. So, the other trick is not to wham them. Right. Okay, because I think if you wham them, they're going to go out of control. Yes. Okay. I think you need to get the strike. Yeah, but they do go straight. Them. Many people have. They are. <laughs> yeah. With so, my, my natural slice. He's, yeah, he's worse than Badger. You can't shut up. <laughs> right. So, we're going to get on the first tee. Tell us about the first hole. Yeah, so the first hole is a dog leg right. Okay. It's 363 yards, okay. I believe, but I'm just you, gonna check you get the a shot score on this? card. Uh, stroke index eight, I would get a shot on Good. it. You're gonna 373. Need shots, right? You'll need so, a shot today. Fantastic. So right. Get you on the tee. Yeah. We'll go. <laughs> you can try these clubs if you want. We've got an audience, let's see. I know. Please subscribe. <laughs> Oh, so cool. And as per the rules of our game, no practice with these. These are just a bag of crap. Welcome to the dead man's bag. Right. Oh, come on. It's like you've never been away. Look at that. Ooh. When will one of you actually just really badly start off? Actually quite surprised with that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you will actually find <laughs> Not much difference to really good new clubs. I'm telling you right now, you'll be surprised. Is that where the term from out the screws comes from? Oh, yeah. The screws are still in, yes, just? Yeah, they're still there. Okay, we carry on. Well, first drive, straight down the middle and um, a uh, long way. Yeah, I was very surprised with that. I think the audience were going to, they were, they were shocked. I think they were, they were, they were going to applaud, actually, at one point. I think I was more shocked. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've actually come to a nice, Part where I'd well, normally that's hit a hybrid. Position, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you'd want to be a bit more right. Okay. But I'll take it. Oh, absolutely, you will. That, well, you can see the green, and that's the important thing on a dog leg like this. This is a it very right yeah. angled dog leg, isn't it? So, very mm. good. Let's see what you can do, maybe with an iron, or you might even attempt it again. We'll see. I, I, I don't, <laughs> don't think so. No, no. Play yourself nice and steady. Is there water on this hole? There is to the right. On the right. We'll have a look so in a second. So, being a bit left, you should be quite good. Okay. So, going to take a six iron. I think we've got about 170 to the front. Very well done. Uh, I think I'd normally take a seven iron here, but obviously, as we haven't got a seven well, iron. Well, you've only got a limited a six stock iron. Will do. Yeah. Not actually sure if we've got a particularly even set of uh, numbers either, but thank you very much to Chris Gill for donating them. So there's water on the right here. I'm just going to very quickly zoom down. Yeah, just to the right of the tree. Is. Water on the right. So be a bit careful. So I'm going to aim left. I'm okay. Just get it down. There would be nice. Oh, just straight, straight again. Bit, bit heavy maybe, but. And a bit muddy. <laughs> so uh, I've got a towel for you, a nice little head mate. We'll be clean the mud off. Well done. This is first thing in the morning, as you can see. I don't think anyone's got out in front of us. This is a very wet day. We had storms exactly. yesterday, so Trithorne is looking really good considering. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain here yeah. as well, so it's it's not too bad. So while Steve sorts out which other club he's gonna take, there's your green. There's the water. Okay. So yeah, quite a dangerous hole at times. So yeah, it's quite quite wet. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be the sand wedge. Okay, have fun with that because, uh, as I said, some people have said that's the heaviest thing they've ever picked up in a club. It's heavy and it's got a lot of offset. Uh, yeah, we described it, it as well. a spade the other day. It's not a sand wedge, it's a spade. We need a bucket to go with it. And the good thing, being in a bit of Yeah, you're, rough, in, you're in a bit of rough, aren't you? Because actually you've just gone off the fairway. We'll help, help it go through. So, okay. again, pins right at the front. Yeah, you've got nothing Ideally, to work with. Ideally, I want to land it short and just run it up. Okay. Now, he talks a good game, he does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you know he's done it? Ooh. A bit right. But I'll take it. <laughs> see, see, this is a 12 handicapper. Oh, it's a bit right. I'll take it. Like Nick yesterday, I thought it was a great shot. He goes, oh, it's a bit too far on the right. I'd just be happy to get there. I really would. <laughs> but get, yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually, yeah. from the rough. Get a putter out, my friend. I'll get a putter. 
or, or whatever you like. But, you know, <laughs> no, you're uh, very fringe, so I will just drive around a bit. Okay, as well. I swapped back into my other shoes today. This is the nearest I've got. The shoes with little feet on, little grips. I put my Adidas ones on. I'm sliding all over the place. Welcome to winter golf. Well, you sit when you play links. So, and wanted to make me a nice new pair of shoes with proper little spikes on. That would be lovely. Got an ass you don't get. So that is very good. Never, never knock a shot like that when it's that close. So the. The greens have been um, hollow tined recently, uh, but actually, they're looking very good. They're, they're responding well, yeah. which is nice. So, right, this is a. I used to play a ping answer with okay. the. Um, I don't know what you call it, where it's set back a bit. You will find it's a very interesting feel off the, off the putter, like rock. Honestly, cool. And a lovely clicky sound when you hit it. Go on. Oh, see what you oh. mean about that? Yeah. That click. Yeah, there's no deadening in these, is there? I think. Cool, oh, but one of those modern, most modern things after 1970 odd. Yeah. Of course, yeah. It's it's got that very metal sound yeah, to yeah. it. Where um, I've got Odyssey, which has got the I don't know what you call it, but it's got an imprint which softens little, it yeah, as well. Insert. So right. So you must hold every shot. There's no gimmies. Well done. A five, I think. Is it five? Yeah. I'm yeah, five. five. I'll take that any day. So five my normal shot. clubs. So net four. To a level par. Well done. We go on to, well, we're playing hole number two, I believe. Hole number two, so uh, just a short drive. Nice and easy. And we'll be around. So yeah, and a nice par four. Good. Quite short, but short is fine. it funnels in. That's bad. So yes, <laughs> it's one layup okay. on that one and then go for the green. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> So then, Steve, Ugh. we're on hole number two. Hole number two, yes. You can describe what we're going to do here. What's the distance? So the distance, I'll get my card out again, is 293. Yeah, although we are playing off slightly back. Yeah, here. so uh, I would say about 300 slightly, because we're nearly off the whites. Yeah, I think well. that's happened. So they're, they're doing some work here, and that's absolutely fine. That's what people do in the winter, so that, that would be, we think, where the yellow would normally be down there. Yeah, but it's straight down. Okay and it does narrow into the green. It sort of like funnels in. So I always play this one. I don't go for the green. I will lay up okay. and have a nice easy shot in. Hopefully land for two, barely putt, but it's normally a, a three putt for a five because it's quite a sloping green as well. Okay. So normally I would take a, a seven or six, yep. but I've got a five. You've got a five. Because I think they're, they're playing shorter. They, they probably are. Than yeah. a normal club. They're not so. as kind of powerful as, as clubs are nowadays. Yeah, so I've teed it up a bit. Okay. Then I normally do with my uh, irons, just to try and get a nice contact. Yeah. You're used to clubs with kind of smaller heads. I'm looking at them oh. thinking, blame they're half the size of the stuff I hit. They're, uh, yeah, they, they are interesting. <laughs> Did it really go in again? It's a little bit left to right, which is probably what he's intending. That's my, my, my natural shot. Natural shot. <laughs> it's there, so I, I play with it. Hey, if you, if you hit a natural shot and you're using those, you're doing fine. But actually, it felt quite nice. Oh, <laughs> I was, they're, um, they're very surprising. It's surprising. It's, the distance, obviously, the, the lofts with them yeah. are different. Yeah, I would That's be completely interested different to, know to a five loft iron issues. you play now. So it's then playing the club to that distance. That's it, yeah, don't pick it up thinking it's a five iron that we've got nowadays. Lofts are very different That's now. correct, yeah. But that would be where about my seven iron would be. You're all doing so well. That's I need <laughs> someone to really play pants before I, I do uh, mine. But there's still, Baron, please, there's still another hole to come. <laughs> so you can see from our footprints, it is first thing in the morning and it is very wet here, like we said, but it's doing very well. So, got a all nine right. iron. Okay. I've got about maybe 110 to the front. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a second to show you that. So, so a nine go. iron. I don't want to go too long with this green. No, okay. So rather That's be the danger the other side. Rather be short. Don't 
very good again, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a bit short. That short is safe here. It is safe. Yeah. So. Well, if, you've got, you know, if you've got shots, whatever, use them. And the fact is, these clubs aren't designed to be blasted. So, yeah, so uh, plot your course. Don't think I get a shot on this one, though. Oh, <laughs> That's the only okay, problem. Okay. He's just too good a player. You don't get shots on everything. <laughs> Ooh. You should have found par four, is it? You don't get an extra shot on. I, should, I don't get one on the 18th as well, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the man's a fool. Honestly, <laughs> he is. He knows his course. He should have picked the holes that got him an extra shot. Problem is, too much water on those, John. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Like we said, it's. Uh, thank you very much to Foreign Treatment for allowing us to come out here today because, yeah, it is. It is pretty hefty. On the rain front, we've had numerous storms in the last couple of weeks. As you will know, if you watched uh, Nick Cooper's yesterday, and this is not a linked course, it's a parkland course. That said, it's holding right. up very well, but it is a bit squelchy in places. Yeah, that's exactly. plugged. So we're, uh, you know, my rules, I can do what I like. <laughs> you're, allowed to, you're allowed to lift it up. That's, right. It's fair. So, so, how far do you reckon you are? Not very far. Not very far. I've got that trusty sand wedge. Okay. Again. I'm going to go to the back of the green before you hit this. Right, yeah. Let's see it from a different angle. So I just want to land it on. Yeah, I think landed on. You've got a fair bit of room there. It's a lovely narrow green, isn't it? Right. Okay. So I just want to. Land it just on the green because it will run down to the hoe. Hopefully, aim a little bit left. Oh, a bit long. Well. Might be a bit heavy, but oh, come on, that's great. You're going to say that's, that's a bit long, aren't you? But <laughs> I am indeed. You, you've got to take that. It's, it's on the dance floor, as they say. So, just a shame you don't have that extra shot to play with. <laughs> just, oh dear. Yeah. I just need them. Um, when we played Bude, Alvi's putt him, uh, he was on fire with it. Yeah. So I just need his, uh, his yeah, just, putting just skill. Zone him in now. Yeah, so. <laughs> but good thing is, it's left me an uphill par, which is always better, so. Okay. Nice and steady. Your greens look very true, they had to work on them, but there's not too much of a bubble going on here today. Oh, that was. Ooh. Yeah, think, that came off the face quite yeah. if fast. You, if you obviously you've watched some of these videos, you know that poor old Neil struggled with the putty. They're it very is. hard off the face. That came off fast, and that didn't. And then you off. hit off, and that was me <laughs> not hitting it. There we go. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse in my head, in my <laughs> imagination, and what happens to me. So don't worry. I can, I can see the. The problems with that and yeah 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 it's tricky isn't it fun it is hmm. so i think it's you're not too bad on the short parts the the longer one you can give it too much so what did you score there because i lost count no. uh, that was a six so that two over six. two over two over is okay so yeah got chances yet yeah. we've got a nice drive for although the 18th is there lovely we've got to go down the the third round the fourth Pass the fifth to get to the 18th. Take a little mystery tour now. <laughs> We're playing the 18th because yeah, they're three very good par fours. First, second, and 18th. Let's crack on. Okay, my friend, I've had a little drive around. It's very lovely. <laughs> it is, yeah. It's, yeah, it's beautiful today. Lovely early morning. It's bright. There's it's no rain. rain right now. No, Not no much rain yet. wind as well, which is unusual. Yeah, you can't so, get any excuses in today. I picked the good day. Uh, it, yeah, it is. It is firework night. The bonfire yes. night here, which is why I did that really random uh, attempt at some kind of poetry at the start of this um, film. We, we had ours in London on Wednesday night, okay. uh, Coronation Park, which was free as well this year. Normally there's a charge to go in, but they've done it free for the community. Uh, our house is fantastic because we can go out on the deck and, and just and watch, just watch it. it from there. A nice warm cup of tea. Um, but obviously it's hard to get people to do the displays because they're normally busy so some yeah. people have it early days so we, we've obviously we used to go to the one at St Ives which is massive on the beach and uh, that's been cancelled last few years because of Covid and it's just it's just really tricky to organise yeah. big events now so I'm hoping for fireworks from you <laughs> that, that was my, plot, my subplot on that rubbish bit of phrasing <laughs> might be a bit of a damp banger <laughs> but yeah. no but yeah okay. ho, ho 18, All 18 we're on it's uh, 302 Yard, so it's not a long one. Okay. 
but a dog legs up round to the left. And you don't get a shot again? No, it's, oh, a, it's 13, so... You're going to learn on these out. various challenges I'm going to come up with over the years. You're going to need to get every help you can get, mate. <laughs> Normally, when I play this one, I take a hybrid. OK. And I will go over the corner of the trees there. Well, I was going to say, the, the red and white marker post, is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, so you sort of want to be halfway between the hedge line and that post. Okay, so we're kind of, yeah, so we're if, left if, hand side as we see yeah, it. Yeah. If I was taking my hybrid, I'd be going over the tree line. Okay. As well, but I don't think mm. I will try with this one. Well, we'll see. Uh, and then it goes up left. Depends how brave you are, my friend. Uh, no, well, we see. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're, you know, you're doing very well. You're uh, two over for now. Get a nice steady end into this. You'll be okay. Yeah, it's, it's just a putting just that, that putter. You down. Yeah. It, it happens to everybody, I think. I think people kind of think they're going to do really badly with this, do quite well, and then they think, oh, the putting's easy, putting's putting, but it's not. It's, it's an interesting putter. Yeah, it is. For that one. Right. Do you know, that was really good. Oh. You're not going to see that, but that was just skirting the left-hand side of those bushes and then curled that, to the right, as you say. That will give me a, a nice sight into the green. You're a beautiful yes, fader well. of a ball, my friend. This is a natural shot. There's my cricket <laughs> skills in me. But yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying watching you play. I've enjoyed watching everyone play this, this so far because <laughs> you're all doing so well. I think you're right. The key is not to try and hit it hard yeah. with it. I think It's I... nice and steady and you'd be surprised how it goes. It is, yeah, but they, they're playing nice. I do wonder, I'm just thinking this, it's something I might discuss on one of the Sunday Quickie shows or something in case I've got an answer to this. But have par like 72, have they changed the, what they would think par 72s are now, depending on the way the clubs have improved over the years? Because if you're playing these on older clubs, we're talking like early 1900s, yeah. etc. I don't think you'd be getting 500 yard holes for like par no. fives and stuff because and of distances. There's a lot of talk about this with the, um, is it the PGA or the US PGA because yeah. they want to restrict the length of the drivers, don't they? Yeah. To try and reduce the But we're the talking drives. about it now because of that, because they're doing that. I just wonder if many, many years ago it kind of happened again. That's it must true, have yeah. happened again with technology changing. Do you think the old hickory sticks they used well, to have? Yeah, I don't think there'll be... Well, I don't know, maybe... Well, we'll find someone who's got some, we can give it a go. Of course, but it'd be yeah. interesting to see the kind of distances they would get on those. But Tom Morris stuff and things, you know? I'd be interested to get some of these clubs just to use on the range, just to... Because it really concentrates your strike. Well, on it. You, are, you are literally repeating what Nick said yesterday. Right, yeah. He was saying he would, you know, if someone gave him that five iron on the range, it would be fantastic to just use and you practice, you know, hone your technique with those and then just use your clubs to just be That's great, model. yeah. Get, getting that strike right, because yeah. you, you've got to strike these perfect. So if you practice on that, well, is I it going to make you a better you know, player? Professor Matt Tutney, let me borrow one of some of his blades just for a laugh once. Yeah. And I'm not saying I'm going to hit these well, but I did hit them pretty well because you do have to concentrate because it's a smaller head and all those kind of you things. Do, you yeah. don't have to kind of throw yourself at it, do you? It is, but yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying it. And you can get them cheaper chip, mate. I'm out, I might be flogging them, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Okay, Decisions. so you've done very well again. You uh, were just going to very quickly scoot round. Sorry about this, it's a bit fast. So we were down there at the bottom of the hill. There's the marker post again. Sweeping round, the green is up there. We are going back towards the clubhouse. Again, benign today, that flag isn't moving, mate. Yeah, is that yeah. nice flag? They're supporting the um, British Legion, so they've got yeah, the poppy yeah, flag lovely. up there. Um, in between clubs here, it's... Um, <laughs> Everyone's in between clubs, it, it is. It's, I think it's about 1.30 okay. to the flag. So what club have you got in your hand? I've got my six, so yeah, it's not going to be a full one. Uh, I think that's probably right, because you don't have an awful lot of choice. No, it's, it's very it, short it six or, very or nine. I think the nine would be too short. I think the nine you'd have to ump it to get there with these. Yeah, I'd rather go softer with a nine. and Maybe just land it short and run it on. Yeah, well, you've talked a good game so far, and you've shown a good game I've, so um, far. Right, so, yeah. Oh. A little bit right to left this time. Yeah. And a bit short, bouncing along. Well, 
Yeah, maybe Start, started off a bit short, but we had a little run after it when it when it rolled. Yeah, Zero that's the the run I wanted, but I think a bit too soft. Okay, we'll, there. we'll find out. They look very good. So, I didn't zoom in too close in case it's not that good, but it looks all right. Honestly, it did. It, it's 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 there. It's quite deceiving this hoe. Yeah, because you think you're closer than you are, and then. You get to it. Yeah, I've played a few of those. There's one of those at Falmouth, and I thought oh, I was aiming really well for it. It got up to the top. It's about another six yards to go over the wall. <laughs> it's yeah. it. Okay, so you ended up, like you said, just a little bit shorter than most people might have thought. I, I thought it landed kind of here, and then would kick forward. But it's again a little bit long grass here, so you didn't quite make the green. Yeah, and you brought three clubs. Three. Well, I've got the putter. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd rather not use that one. Okay, fine. <laughs> but hey, the way it comes off that face, mate, it can go flying past there. So I don't know whether to Ooh, bump and run it. Oh, you have dropped it. Have you? I like break them. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about getting them wet and dirty. Or the wedge it with the sand. Yeah, it's like, do you do proper golf with a wedge, or do you do links golf and bump and run it? I think I'm going to go wedge it. Oh, okay. So it's um. Yeah. We'll see. Because it's got a bigger head. Hopefully. More margin, well, or less margin for error. Yeah. Or margin for error. I think it's going to. I don't think you're going to get much control with it, so no. it's going to run. So I might just put it on the back foot a bit and okay. chip it on. Very good. Go on. Oh, nah, no, nah. not Got a bit snagged up. Yeah, there's my, my think, issue. Not commitment. Yeah, I think with the the big so that's where. I will tell you right now, you're not last. Am okay? I not? No, no, no. You're doing all right. I'm, so you know. I'm enjoying it though. That's the, the main okay. thing. I think with this, I will now putt. But. Yeah, I th yeah. You're you're close enough to putt, aren't you? Yeah. Just remember the last the, the, the last hole. And try hitting it, okay? Don't <laughs> don't just like well, knock it and think that didn't go. If anywhere. I hit it like the first, like the first part, 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 yeah, that would be fine. But I would say, whilst Steve just gets set up, yeah, we are coming up to that time, and we will never forget the people so, that have uh, given their lives to allow us to do what we do today. Come on, that's nice. That, oh, oh. That's still. Still, that looked like oh, for all the world it was a decent weight for that. It, the, the way it comes off the face with this putter, it's... I must admit, when I saw it first, I thought, you know, that's not a bad line, and it <laughs> didn't come round, and suddenly it's way past again. It's... Mm. Um, yeah, a bit yeah. of gardening, bit of gardening. Do you want the spade? <laughs> I can have a spade to putt with. <laughs> Better. Go on. Oh, some days luck is God, not with you. Just run fast. Todd, you should have played those old with the extra shot. Mm. Well there done. we go. The six well again. Hey. <laughs> so. we'll, we'll get to the buggy and we'll finish off this video and we'll count up what happened to you. Yeah. You're going to see on the scores where you are. It's. Um, I think that the putter is the, the, the one putter which is the killer. In it this is, game. yeah. I do, Neil had the same problems. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It's about, it just comes off that face really quick, and it's controlling it. Yeah, it's that. That's when it goes in. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go to in. me, with my normal putter, that would be short. Yeah. But then that, that's gone long. But you can hear it off the face. Oh, you can hear it, yeah. It's not the ball that's clicking, it's the putter. It, it is, it's yeah. Hitting it hard. Oh, but you did very well. Like I said, you certainly haven't disgraced yourself. I, very well done, my friend. I have enjoyed it. It's, it's been fun. <laughs> it's, um, I don't think many people think about using old clubs. I think, I think people should. We were discussing this. Uh, we were going to do some more buggy cam, but it's a petrol driven buggy and it's a bit noisy when you do these things. <laughs> So we were saying, maybe it's an idea. You should just all go and raid the charity shops and just get yourself a half set of just really old clubs just for fun. It is, yeah. Just with them, go on the range with them. Just have a bit of a laugh with them sometimes. It just changes the experience of golf for you and you'll learn a few things from it. Yeah. Maybe get a different putter though. Maybe a different putter. You're allowed a different putter. <laughs> yes. You didn't try cleaning that often. You don't think that's allowed. Just, just wipe the grass. <laughs> so let's turn this round. 
Did you work your score out? Yes, yeah, so I was uh, five on the first. Okay. Six on the second. Right, so you were five. Net four. Four, so that was level. Yeah. So two Six over. On the second, no, no hold, no, two over. Uh, two over. And then, unfortunately, two over on the last. So you ended up well, four, four over. over. Four, it's very good. He's not last. Not yet. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, John, for coming. I really enjoyed it. You're a star, and, I'm, and we're going to get Alfie on not to do a dead man's bag. I think that'd be very cruel to him. I, I think he'd enjoy it. Oh, he probably would. Yeah, I mean, we might get <laughs> Alfie to do a dead man's bag yet, but um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give, we'll give him a nice gentle day that day. Yes. Yeah. Um, not, not wet and like this is today. So, uh, yeah, he. It would help with his strike. Um, oh, it's really would. But he's, because he's just changed clubs now, so he's got a bit more forgiving clubs okay. where his old set were, they, they were quite, uh, I think he as muscle backs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These more cavity backs. So he's used to striking a small headed club. So, you know. We might, we might come back then. Yeah, so he would definitely enjoy doing it. it. It'd be fun. Yeah, the challenge is fun. Uh, if you want to take part in this, let us know. If you're in Devon and Cornwall and you want me to pop around and say hello with, and bring the, the dead man's bag, the bag of crap, We'll, we'll play three holes on your course. No problem at all. I'm so recommend doing it. Yeah. it. It's fun. It's going to be fun. Thank you very much to Trethorne and some members and the, and the owners and the people who work here. Lovely, lovely place. The members have been very good for us today as we drive around the buggy. Thank you very much to Steve, you are a star. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bar, do all those things. Come and join the friendliest golf channel in Cornwall. We will see you again very soon for another adventure. embarrassing just for a laugh because I'm not doing mine today I had one go with this on the first tee we finished obviously Steve Tree but I had one go with this on the first tee he's gone it went straight but he's gone and ran to pick my ball up I said he could have took the bucket he would have made it look better there's people watching he's, he's probably got it. I don't know how far he's gone but he's not going to be out of breath when he gets back are you might be breathing heavily in the mic there uh, oh it's going to be fun Darren you're next my friend you're next